All right, open up to the next available page in your composition notebook for language arts, and we are going to write the following title up at the top. You are going to write, show it on the screen here quick, degrees of sentences. Degrees of sentences is our title up at the top of the page. Now, this um, page is just going to be notes. There's no foldable that's going to be cut out and glued onto it. And um, I kind of changed the title of this before I had types of sentences, and I realized that we already have a title called that. And these are kind of a different way of looking at types of sentences. So I'm going to instead label it degrees of sentences. Now, you have three different degrees of sentences here. And we've touched on them a little bit, especially in the definitions on previous pages. So the first degree is simple sentences. Simple sentences are your um, very elementary type sentences. They are the ones that you um, start learning to read right away when you first start learning to read. Um, they're very easy to read. And few words are involved in the sentences. Sorry, I had to adjust my page really quick. All right, so um, this first type of, or degree of sentence is simple sentences. Very easy to read. Few words are involved in it. They're very easy words to understand. Um, and I always like to think of it, and I'm going to put this example next to it so that you can copy it down as well. I always like to think of it as um, just a basic sugar cookie. And this example will start to make a little bit more sense as we go through here. So if you think about your cutout cookie or a sugar cookie, probably ones that you decorate with frosting and sprinkles, just think about the plain cookie itself. Now chances are it is a good cookie by itself. But I think it could be a better cookie with frosting and sprinkles on there, but it's still an okay cookie. Simple sentences are kind of like that plain sugar cookie with nothing on it. It's just the cookie itself. They're good. They're sweet. They're sugary. They're good to eat. Um, simple sentences are good. They're okay. They make sense, but they could be better. Okay, so simple sentences. I have some examples down below. And these are a couple, a um, little bit more advanced sixth grade type simple sentences. We asked them questions. They had no answers. Okay, very simple. These sentences could probably be a little more complex, a little more advanced, but they're just plain, we, straight to the point, we understand what's going on in them. We asked them questions, they had no answers. Kind of think of simple sentences as, like I said before, the ones that you probably read in the books where um, they were very, I saw him run. He likes cookies. Let's play ball. Okay, those are simple sentences. Think about your plain sugar cookie. They're okay to have. And if you were desperate, you could probably eat just a plain sugar cookie. But if you had your choice, I'm sure you would probably choose to have more to your sugar cookie. Same thing with these simple sentences. You probably, when you're writing sentences in a paper, in a story, they're okay to have every once in a while, but we want to make sure that we're making them a little bit better, a little bit more enjoyable, um, just like frosting and sugar cookies, uh, and sprinkles on the sugar cookie. Okay, so your second degree is now called a compound sentence. Compound sentences. So simple sentences are your first type of sentence that you learn to write, okay? Then we build off of simple sentences and we actually take two simple sentences, combine them together with a fanboys for a coordinating conjunction and most likely a comma, and we make them into a compound sentence. So all a compound sentence is, and I'm gonna make the definition down here, two or more, Simple sentences, 
put it together. To make one sentence. And it's joined together by a fanboy. So a coordinating conjunction and a comma. Every once in a while, you'll be able to join them together without a comma and just a fanboy. But most of the time, you'll have to have a comma and then the fanboy to join those two sentences together. So here are some examples. Let me see if I can move my book down a second here. Let me pause the video and I'll come back. All right, here are some examples. And I'm going to build off of the examples that we had up at the top. So we asked them. Questions, comma, conjunction, fanboys, but, I'm going to underline that, they had no answers. So here I am joining two simple sentences together. We asked them questions. They had no answers with a comma and a conjunction, coordinating conjunction, fanboys, and now we have a little bit more interesting of a sentence to read and also to write. Um, as our writing skills build, we want to make sure that we're using more compound sentences. Like I said, simple sentence every once in a while, still okay. Same with the sugar cookie, plain sugar cookie, it's still okay. But as we get older, we want to make sure that we're using more compound sentences. This example here, I'm going to do plus frosting. Everybody loves frosting on cookies. The nice majority of the people do. Uh, frosting is a great addition. It makes the cookie a little bit more enjoyable, a little bit better to eat, tastes a little bit better, has a little bit different texture added to it. Same thing with compound sentences. Makes those sentences a little bit better, a little bit more enjoyable to read, and it catches the reader's attention a little bit more. Okay, now the third degree of a sentence is what our writing will end up being by the end of the school year and will be expected to have quite a bit of in your writing in seventh and eighth grade writing. These are called complex sentences. So complex sentences are are sentences joined together and here's where it can get a little tricky. You can have a combination of simple and compound sentences joined together. So it's not just a simple and a compound sentence. It's not just two compound sentences. It's a combination. So it could be any combination. Simple, 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 compound, compound, compound. Sentences joined together with an awubus. So the only way that a sentence is made to be complex is if there is an awubus word used in it to join two simple sentences together. Um, if there's not, then it's not a complex sentence. So it's kind of actually the same thing, same idea as a compound sentence. They're just using a different connecting word to connect two sentences together. So I'm gonna write a wubis right here. Okay, those are subordinating conjunctions. So that's that little tiny list that we include in that has 50 um, conjunctions on there and there's probably even more that exists in the world, but 50 is plenty to worry about in this case. All right, so here is an example. Now, these complex sentences joined by an awubis are not necessarily going to follow the same pattern as compound sentence. It's not going to be sentence, conjunction, sentence. You could have the uh, subordinating conjunction at the beginning of the sentence. You could have it in the middle. You could also have it somewhere else in the sentence. It's not necessarily joining those two together, but maybe joining two nouns or two thoughts together. Here's an example of having it at the beginning of the sentence, and I'm still going to build off of the sentence before. Although, which is your subordinating conjunction, or your awubis, although we asked the questions, They had no answers. Okay. 
Okay, so we join a simple sentence, any simple sentence together in this case. We asked them questions or we asked the questions, they had no answers. But we made it even more interesting. This is almost like a sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade type of sentence here. Although we asked the questions, they had no answers. So it just makes it a little bit more interesting to think about, okay? Um, so most of the time, you will see two simple sentences together. So I'm going to draw an arrow here to show that most of the time you will see that simple sentence um, joined with another simple sentence with a coordinating conjunction um, in order to make a complex sentence. And my video just froze on me, so you didn't see me draw the arrow. So I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to upload just a really quick video after this to show you the rest of the notes.